Okay. Awesome. There you are. We're How's it in. going? Oh, it's going good. What about you? I needed that long weekend, though. Yeah, uh, it, it was good. I actually spent um, some time up with my family on uh, poolside, which was great. Since all the nice, nice. Closed. It wasn't warm enough here for poolside. Uh, it like snowed in some places around here, but that's how Canada is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're. <laughs> We're hardy. Okay. Yeah, but... I am going to share my. I don't think I'll share my whole desktop. I'm like Molly, I'm not as hard to share. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the average number of items on the desktop is by presenter. <laughs> I only have like eight. Okay, that's not bad. I I keep a folder called junk that is just all, everything that was on the desktop. I just throw in there about every month or so. Oh, okay, uh, that's not bad. I mean, it's still I a little bit everybody. messy, but that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so if I want to browse through old stuff, I go there. All right. Anyways, Jamila, I will let you introduce yourself. Talk a little bit more about Farah and how we can use social proof with our social media. Cool, cool. Well, I will start presenting this first so that you can see the whole thing and hopefully it works okay perfect so my name is Jamila and I am the marketing manager for fair AI we're a social proof and review platform uh, you can find us on Shopify big commerce Magento all of the major platforms you can install our app on so we basically help you earn the trust of your shoppers and sell more but in this quick, presentation, your, your share, oh. your screen share is on the other screen or something like that. I see the not full screen version. Oh no! Okay, hold on. If you I'm gonna just, do a new uh, share, and I guess I will share my entire desktop. I'll yeah, be you could do that as well. That might work. Share entire desktop. Yeah. Okay, let me know if you can see it. Okay, this actually looks perfect. This looks great. Okay, okay good, 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 good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm from Vera. We help you to earn the trust of your shoppers and sell more because really uh, people have to know, like, and trust you as was said in the previous videos. So I'm just going to start by going through um, what social proof is. I'm going to give you guys a few examples just so you know what I'm talking about and you can see how it's been working for other people. So the first is reviews. So I personally use reviews on my own uh, website. I have a jewelry store online. So I'm also a merchant. So I do utilize a lot of reviews. And that's like the number one type of social proof that people typically use. And then there's user generated content. So if you go back to um, some previous videos from e commerce tech, you'll see that there's an interview with buttercream clothing. So you can check that out and see how she uses social media to generate user generated content. You can see here that she uses her user generated content in her um, products. So it's really good for that. Another form of social proof is inline social proof. So that's basically when you tell people, oh, so-and-so just bought this, or there are so many items left, and there are 50 people viewing it. And then there's also another video that you guys go back to from the last event, which is um, Boob Tape. And she was featured in Cosmopolitan, and she uh, uh, presents that as social proof on her website prominently. So it shows, it gives credibility. If you've ever been seen in a publication, then that's really good social proof to put on your website. And then because we're talking about social media, another form of social proof is your follower count. So how many people are following you? Um, this really helps because usually, uh, even for me, if I see that like somebody has like 200 followers, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I really want to follow them. But if they have 15,000, then I say, oh, lots of other people want to follow them. So maybe I'll follow them too. This is my friend, Jenny. Uh, she owns Live Long and Hustle and she has a sweet Instagram profile. So you can, <laughs> you can follow her if you want to. So let's talk about why social proof is powerful for e-commerce companies. So here's just an example of one of our merchants and uh, social proof can help to improve your conversion rate. And with Farah, we show how many shoppers have been influenced by the social proof and how many additional sales you've gotten. So social proof is really powerful for selling things to your shoppers and converting the traffic that you already have. So the thing is, is that 
most customers will read a review before they're making a purchase. Even if you think about things like restaurants, I always check the Google reviews for restaurants or I got my nails done on Friday and I went through all the reviews to check to see which nail place was the best place to go. So reviews are super, super important when you are trying to sell things online. And the majority of people will decide whether or not to buy your product based on reviews. So these are important things to think about when you are uh, dealing with your online store. So let's talk about how you can use social proof with your social media. So this is really exciting. All of these are real life examples. So you can take notes and you can try one or two of them for yourself. You don't have to try everything because nobody's got time to try everything. But uh, you, can go, you can go through the examples and see which one would work best for your brand. So we'll go through testimonials, pushing to social media, using uh, testimonials from your social media on your own website, using influencer photos, and then user-generated content. So here is an example from one of our customers. They post their reviews every so often on um, their social media, typically Facebook, because the majority of their customers and their sales are coming from Facebook. So they will post obviously their five-star reviews that they get and they'll post it to um, Facebook. So posting to social media can positively impact the mind of your prospects. So for example, there are a lot of people who are probably following you on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram who haven't bought from you yet, but posting reviews, especially positive reviews is a good way for them to understand that they can trust you and that other people have purchased from you before, and that makes them feel safe in case they wanna buy from you. They know that they're gonna get uh, what you promise that you're gonna give them. So with Farah, you have the functionality to post your reviews to Facebook if you want to, but even if you don't have, um, even if you don't have a, an app to do that, you can just get the photo and then copy and paste the review into your Facebook and do it that way or into later or buffer or something like that and do it that way. So uh, this is a really good way to show your followers and people who haven't purchased from you or aren't that close uh, down in the bottom of the funnel to buy from you. So then um, you can also import your reviews and testimonials from places like Google or Facebook, and then you can add them to your website. So something that's nice about this is being able to gather all of your social media reviews because they live in, they live everywhere on the internet. So it's a nice way to be able to have them all in one place. So you can bring those testimonials and those reviews into your website, and then you can display them um, on, on your website. So let's talk about some of the best places to display. So like reviews, obviously you want to put those on your product page but you wanna make sure that they're not distracting from your product. So you may wanna put them a little bit lower. That's where most reviews are. They're below the description, below all the photos. That's where you typically wanna put your reviews. Um, your average ratings, you can put that right under the heading of your, of your product, or you can put them at the bottom on your collection pages. So that's a really good place to put them. And then your testimonials can either be on your homepage and we've seen some customers um, put them in their cart or at, at checkout. And from what I've seen, it hasn't affected there. It's actually boosted their conversion rate because they had like a 6% conversion rate and they had their testimonials in the cart. But again, like these are places where you have to test, right? You have to say, is this gonna work for my brand? Oops. Or is it going to, or is this just something that other, other people, that it works for other people? So make sure that you're always testing things and seeing what works for you and for your customers. So the next thing is having your social media photos on your website. Okay, so this is probably my favorite. I love seeing Instagram photos on fashion and apparel websites because I like to see um, what other people are doing on their um, social media. I just see, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I see some comments. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna, I'll save them to the end in case I have um, time. I think they're interested in the product. <laughs> Oh, okay, good, good. I'm glad that you're interested in the product. Uh, we're gonna give away two months free of Farah, so you guys can stick around, or we'll put the link. We'll put the link in there later for you guys. Um, so the best I like uh, wall of photos. 
because like I said, it really helps to sell the lifestyle and it helps to show what your product will look like in real life. So you have the ability, there are some um, things that you can do to make it shoppable, but really the whole point of a customer photo wall is to be able to show people what the product looks like in real life and what it will look like um, on them. So of course with Fair, you can also put a customer photo wall if you need to. So then let's talk about influencer marketing and social media. And I know that, that was one of the top or a couple, like that's a really big topic for, for this event. So 40% of people have said that they've purchased a product after seeing it on an influencer. I know that I'm like, oh, what's, what's that girl wearing? Or like, why is her, or why does her hair look so good? What kind of product <laughs> is she using? So this is an example from Kinky Curly Yaki and they do um, hair for black women. And as you can see, just under their tag post, they have some influencers who have posted about their brand. And this one had like 3,900 likes. I couldn't take a screenshot of it. But these are the kind of things where you um, send an influencer a product and they endorse it and they post it and they tag you. And then their followers are like, oh, why does this girl look so good? How can I look like her? So um, people are really trusting earned media. And I think that there are people who do understand that influencer marketing is, um, is a business, but at the end of the day, if they trust the person that you're sending the product to, then it can be really good for your sales. And a lot of people, or there are some stats that say some brands have earned $6.50 for every dollar that they put into influencer marketing. And that's like a really good return on investment. But when you're collaborating with influencers, always make sure that your values are aligned, which is what we've, uh, what we talked they like what was talked about before in the previous videos and make sure that um your influencer has an authentic following and an authentic engagement rate and that they're not they're not like one of those influencers who let's say you sell soap and one day they're using this soap and one day they're using another soap or something like that so you want to make sure that that they're authentic and they're not always collaborating with your rivals because that can seem inauthentic so it's not super hard to do influencer marketing. Like there are a bunch of videos that you can watch on that, but it's definitely um, good, especially for the amount that you spend. And if you're using micro influencers, sometimes all it is is like giving them a coupon code or giving them some free product. So then the last thing for um, user generated or for social media and social proof is user generated content. So this is a really good example of Macy's and their user generated content. And when you post things like this, it really inspires people to um, use your product and understand how it's gonna fit into their lifestyle. Like this sweet bag, like this lady is obviously just walking in her neighborhood. So it's nice to see exactly how the product is, is um, integrating into people's lifestyle. So that's another way that you can use your social proof um, through your social media. And then this one, I've had a lot of um, Instagram examples, but this is like a Pinterest example where you can show people how to use your product. So again, this is boob tape and uh, you can find her video um, in a, from the last event, which is will be on Derek's YouTube channel. So here are three key takeaways. So make sure that you are cross posting reviews to social and to your website. So it's just like uh, what the last presenter Molly said that one video can make 15 pieces of content. So if you have one review, post it to, if it's a photo review, post it to Facebook, post it to Instagram, put it on your Pinterest. If you have a really good review from, from Facebook, try and put it on, on your website if you have uh, the ability to do that. And then you can also leverage influencers. So again, use influencer marketing and then use user generated content, especially photos where you can, because you're really selling the lifestyle, especially in e-commerce. And especially if you're doing fashion, you're selling the lifestyle, you're selling the dream. So make sure that you're using user generated content. So now here, those are all the ways that you can use the social proof, but like, how do you grow your social proof? That is um, the, oh no. I don't want you to update Adobe. <laughs> That's the question. So you have to make sure that you are trying, that you are getting people to hear the four things to review, share, connect, and engage with you. So those are like the four main things that you want to get people to do. So I'll just take you through how you can do those things. So the first thing that you should be doing is creating an amazing unboxing experience because you want to make people 
excited when they get their package and you want to make them want to share. So giving them a really good inbox experience is important. Um, I don't have, I have this. I got like a pair of really sweet earrings and I got this like cute little box and it has all these little confetti pieces in it. And I still have my box like on my, on my um, shelf because it was such a good unboxing experience that it made me want to share it. And I immediately posted it to Instagram and I left a review. So those are the little things that you can do to make people want to share your content. The other thing that you should be doing is asking for a photo after product delivery. So again, with Farah, you're able to do that. You can choose if you want to do it five days after or 60 days after, but make sure that when you're asking for a photo, you are making sure that it's timely. So if you know that your package usually arrives within 10 days, then maybe send it 12 days after just so they've gotten the product and it's fresh in their mind and they are, are happy with the experience because you have a really good packaging and unboxing experience. So um, they're willing to share. The other thing you wanna do is incentivize people to share because at the end of the day, nothing's free, right? Like you're asking for your customer's time, so you should be giving them something. And the more you ask for, so for example, if you're asking for a video, then you should be um, giving them more than if you were just asking for a text review. So you can ask for things like, or you can give them things like discounts or free items, loyalty points, cash back. So um, with Fair, you can do discounts, cash back and loyalty points. But like, of course, if you are writing a message, you can also say, oh, I'll send you, um, a free, and you'll send them a free something if, if they, if they leave a review. So the other thing that you can do is you can set up a loyalty program that incentivizes people to tag you in photos on Instagram or, um, maybe even Twitter, refer a friend or follow you on social. So a really good, uh, loyalty app is smile.io. So that's definitely, um, a loyalty program that you can use on your store. Um, so the other way that you can gather uh, social proof is by creating a unique hashtag. So the nice thing about making a unique hashtag is that you can go back and you can gather all those photos and then you can put them on your website. So that's another really good way to grow social proof. So for example, I will ask people to tag hashtag Alora tribe when they get there when they get their, um, their product and people will tag us and then I'll see the photos and then I'll be able to reshare or I'll be able to put them, as you can see, um, on, on our website. So it's nice that way that people are basically making content for you and then you can build trust on your website with like free content. So it's really great. So here are the ways that you can use social proof to make more sales. So again, add user photos to your product page, but make sure that they're not detracting from your product page. So of course you have really great photos, you have a really great product description, but the thing about user photos is that it makes your product relatable. So that's why you want to put it on your product page. And then adding reviews to your product page and your social media is super important. It's like really good to add reviews to your social media every so often, because of course you're not getting like a bunch of organic reach, but when people look back, they'll say, they'll say, oh, they have happy customers. Okay, I feel secure in buying from them. And then again, leveraging influencers. So I'm gonna, just gonna go through in a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can grow, show and learn with Fair AI. So you can create review request campaigns. So you can do ongoing campaigns like I talked about before, and you can decide the kind of incentives that you want to give people. So there's um, cash back, which is basically just a refund on their purchase, but like who doesn't want to get cash back? So you can, you can offer that. Um, and then you can change your messaging too. So you can customize your messaging to be more authentic and you can send the review request from you. So as you can see, I have, this is just a demo star, but from Jamila's apparel. So then you can you can put your photo in there and you can show people that you're real and awesome and inject your personality in there too. Um, oh, and then I don't know if you can see, but you can ask for reviews, um, photos and video. So like video is super important, especially in this day and age. So I recommend giving a better incentive for video than you would for like a regular text review. So then you can showcase. So this is um, an example of putting your 
your um, reviews on your product page. So like I said, after all of the um, actually important things, oh no, stable. <laughs> after the important things that you can put the product reviews so people who are looking to learn more will be able to go down. And this is a, an example of our live editor. So you can see exactly what the changes are going to look like when you click. And then there's A-B testing. So you want to always make sure that you are testing things, seeing if it's uh, positively or negatively affecting your conversion rate or your revenue. So our A-B testing is super easy to use. You just uh, click, you decide what skill you want to test, you decide the distribution and how long you want it to last, and then we'll let you know um, if you should keep the social proof that you're testing on or turn it off. And then this is my favorite part. Okay, so I have personally used this for my own store. So this is, um, I go through the shopper and order journeys and I check to see like what pages people are looking at the most and where they fell off. And I found that like most people were checking out our about us page. Like that was like the second sometimes or, or the third uh, page that they were looking at. So I went and I updated my entire about us page. And now it's like pictures of me, my mom, my sister, and like little personal about us statements. And uh, I tell people that I like to annoy my sister in my spare time. And like that has really helped to build trust and uh, improve our sales. And then the last thing is reporting. So um, we have a really simple, at least I think it's simple, <laughs> reporting dashboard. So you can see how Farah has helped, what your conversion rate is, um, and uh, all the shoppers that have been influenced um, by, by the social proof. So that's um, the, how our app works. So you can try Farah two months for free. Uh, Derek, it's the exact same link as from last from um, the last uh, event that we Boy, did. Open. So, but anybody who, if the link isn't in the profile, you guys can email me at jamila at farah.ai to get the two, free two months. But um, yeah, you guys can try it for free and see if it works for you. And um, I will, hold on, I will look at the chat. So yeah, people can people can try it and see, see how it works. Oh. I'm finding it right now. If oh, the website. Oh, I got the, the website. main website yeah, link, but not necessarily. If this was a different one, I'm finding the old presentation. Um, I think it might, if, it might be the same one. At least from here, you can install it. And if, they, if you need to uh, reach out to Jamila directly or even maybe the support team and just say, hey, I'm from e-commerce tech. I was promised two free months. They'll get it for you. <laughs> we will definitely make it make it happen. Um, and then the cost. So it starts at nine dollars a month. But like, honestly, for most people, like if your store doesn't make any money, if your store makes zero dollars a month, like we don't charge you. So <laughs> because yeah, they have a very market. nice freemium model that scales as you grow your business. Yeah. I would say the power of Farah comes in at that $99 per month plan because that's when you get A-B testing. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to split testing your website, it is super, super important. But you don't need to do that until I, I like to say at least 10,000 monthly visitors. And that's when it becomes really powerful to start thinking about um, testing and then even some segmentation components that follow along. Uh, Jamila, I saw, I, I haven't seen this uh, customer journey mapping functionality before. Is this new? So the interface is new. We've always had it, but it's like so much, it's prettier now. It was like text, <laughs> ugly text before, and now yeah. it's got kind of a story to tell. That's amazing. I exactly. love it. I'm a huge nerd when it comes to the customer journey mapping um, in the B2B world. I'm a huge fan of HubSpot because it's so easy to see that activity uh, tracking there. And I think you just um, make, brought that functionality into your tool. It's, it's really uh, brilliant and it's going to be awesome to see how that connects to, oh, look at this drop off point. Okay, let's add a test here and yeah. figure out what's working. So it like, it brings the platform together really um, uh, in a great way. I love it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's super useful. It's super useful. Like it's helped, it's helped me like as a, like a merchant on my own. So yeah, it's uh, been pretty it. good. And now it's pretty, so it's easier to look at and it's easier <laughs> to digest. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be overwhelming. There's so many things to do. We, we, how many things do we cover today? Tell, tell us in chat, what are you going to execute on, um, you know, from today forward? It's, it, I know that there's, there's a lot we went over. But uh, for your presentation, Jamila, thank you so much. We've got uh, links in the comments as well. 
and we will be uh, sure to, uh, oh, yeah, to, uh, to, you can follow up with anybody that you need to, Jamila at Farah.ai. Thanks, Jamila. Yes. Thanks, see and, you. Bye. And from there, we are done with this amazing two-day event. Thank you so much for attending. It really means a lot to me to see that people have stuck around to the end. We do have a giveaway winner. It's dermala.com. And Catherine from their team has been reached out to about winning our e-commerce tech uh, giveaway. And all of that stuff is getting taken care of. And the PS5 will be given away by Caro. I'm going to make sure that uh, that's organized and announced in the next couple of days. I'll follow up with their team separately to get um, that out. If you didn't, by the way, install Caro to your Shopify store, and then you will be eligible uh, you, and mention that in chat to them, and you'll be eligible to win a PS5. And if, if you don't do it, I'm going to do it for you. I don't even know. I really wish that I could uh, win that one. But um, yeah, so that's the the tech giveaway. And uh, Teresa, thank you so much. And uh, El Elsie and Yinka and Jennifer, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we learned everything from, uh, I think, we, I mean, there's not a lot left to cover when it comes to influencer marketing as a whole. When it comes to social media marketing, we could, we could do more in channel strategy and deepening and, uh, and even going a little bit further into content tweaks and how to position your product images and things like that. But for the most part, we covered a lot of things in pretty good detail. I'm really happy with, with how this turned out. Um, to, I'd, I'd love to know what your favorite session was, by the way. Uh, so many good things to recap. My talk with David Perry and how they're pioneering influencer marketing in a completely different direction than I could have ever imagined. Uh, to our talk just now on social proof. Molly talking about live video and giving you a way to repurpose that 15 different ways. Uh, and Sarah talking about um, her own brand faux pas or really just a unlucky moment that happened with Pepsi and everything uh, else that she's gone through working with brands. And the list goes on. So I, um, all these sessions will be available on our YouTube uh, in just a few days. Uh, I think Zoom's acting really slowly because yesterday's video is still processing today. So I can't even download it and get it off to production to get cut and put up there. But as soon as we can, we'll be on it. We'll send you an email uh, with a link to the replays afterwards. We will have one more event. Well, actually two more events this year and you're gonna get an email about those. Uh, and, and again, thanks to our sponsors, Gorgeous, Recar, and Caro who help us put on this event so that it can be free for you forever. If you are thinking about a help desk, you need to be thinking about Gorgeous. They are destroying it specifically in the Shopify ecosystem because they are so focused on e-commerce and very well funded and very driven. I can tell you from knowing the team personally. Um, Recart in messenger marketing, you could say the same thing about Soma, uh, having so much focus and understanding of the space and being in, in e-commerce for so long. And with Kara, we already saw David Perry having this unique background um, in, in gaming that brought him to the forefront of how e-commerce and influencers can work in a unique and authentic way. So thank you again to our sponsors. I look forward to seeing you back here at another uh, Future of E-Commerce event. I'll see you guys in the future. Take care.